What are the markets pricing in right now? Is it a trade war? Is it trade tensions? Or for the moment, are they still trying to figure out what comes next? I think they're still trying to hope um, that the trade war is avoided. Um, I think markets are still optimistic. Many people are still overweight. We're overweight in risk assets. But we're pretty worried about that left tail risk. But at the moment, I don't think that's priced in with any degree of certainty. But Rick, what exactly is the main worry? That, that some kind of trade war then, then cuts down GDP growth significantly or just that U.S. investments in China will be hurt? Well, I think there's a top-down sense that it, it'll definitely affect GDP growth if it gets out of control. But if you're thinking about this as an equity investor, you've got to worry about the bottom-up story. I mean, they're not disconnected. But in the end, earnings growth will be affected uh, to the extent you begin to nip into uh, the freedom that companies have had uh, by introducing trade war um, rhetoric and, beyond that, actual tariff barriers. Uh, Joseph, can a trade war be avoided? Yes, it can. I mean, the, the, the difficulty here is the complete uncertainty in which, uh, you know, we're, we're faced with, uh, given that the, the people in the White House don't seem to know themselves where, where they're going. So I think investors are, are left very nervous with the, the feeling that there, is, there isn't much of a, of a leadership and there are some random decisions that are taken on a daily basis, which can affect uh, things, uh, important things such as trade, and, and that's quite uh, worrisome. Don't forget, you know, we're on the, what, the ninth year of a bull market in the U.S., so, you know, you're starting to get uh, to a point where there's not that much oxygen left. Uh, there's not much room for maneuver uh, in terms of uh, valuations. And, um, you know, we, we had last year a market that kind of ignored uh, the randomness that was exalted from the uh, from the White House, focusing on the on the tax cuts, which was a great thing for corporate earnings in the U.S., and then this year, we're mm -hmm. we're left with the with the bad side of things.